I'm Zachary Shevich. I'm Chris Blondell. And this is a movie news update. Ladies, listen carefully. Nerds went over Hollywood this week when astrophysicist, frequent Daily Show guest, and Pluto killjoy Neil deGrasse Tyson convinced James Cameron to correct a mistake in a 1997 blockbuster film, Titanic. You know the one. The one that made all the money. Oh, that Titanic movie. I was thinking of the other one. There's another Titanic movie? Oh, sure, Zach. There's plenty. There's A Night to Remember, Titanic 2, Raise the Titanic. Titanic vs. the Octopus, and even the off-color exploitation film, Black Tanic. The mistake was most likely not noticed by anyone who isn't an astrophysicist, but it was a mistake in a movie that championed itself not only on its special effects, but on its detailed historical accuracy. While viewing the film in theaters, Neil deGrasse Tyson noticed that in the scene where Rose lies singing deliriously on a plank, the sky that she looks up at is the wrong sky. How can the sky be wrong? The sky is the sky. Look, I'm not an astrophysicist. Tyson said, we know the day, the time, the longitude, the latitude. We know everything about how, when, and where that ship sank. Worse than that, it was not only the wrong sky, the left half of the sky was a mirror reflection of the right half of the sky. So it was not only wrong, it was lazy. Bam, Tysoned. So what? The sky is the sky. Does that even really matter? Well, in Dr. Tyson's humble opinion, if James Cameron cares enough about detail like costume, china, wallpaper, he should be held accountable for every other detail. You know what James Cameron had to say to that? Quote, Last I checked, Titanic grossed over $2.3 billion worldwide. Just imagine how much more it would have grossed had I got the sky right. Ooh. Bam! Cameron. Ye well, yeah, but not Cameron for long. Because for the recent release of Titanic in 3D, James Bartholomew Cameron... That's not his middle name. ...called Dr. Tyson up and asked him for the sky on April 15th, 1912 at 4.20 a.m. The right sky. Oh, damn! Double tyson Will this make the 3D version any more exciting? Not unless there's a comet in that sky. Probably not for most moviegoers. But for Dr. Tyson and other astrophysicists, this is huge. It shows that there are other devoted moviegoers outside of Twihards, Star Wars geeks, and Harry Potter fans. Yeah, there are nerds out there that like more than just comic books. There are nerds out there that like science. So when a movie is marketed towards all audiences, it should appeal to all audiences. Those who like popcorn entertainment and the people who pay attention to the little details in their movies. Neil deGrasse Tyson, coming soon to correct a movie near you. So what do you think, film majors? Is this a sign that Hollywood is getting smarter, or did Cameron get caught being lazy and try to cover his tracks? Leave a comment below or subscribe to the PFM channel for more interviews, reviews, and news updates. You can also visit us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. But that's all for now. I'm Chris Blondell. And I'm Zachary Shevich. And y'all have been Tysoned.